Hi, this is a tutorial for Tagman, which is an ID3 editor for MP3, AIF, and WAV files. While Tagman can be used by music consumers, its primary audience is uh, music producers, those who make those files. So let's take an example. Let's take a mastering project to have here and we'll bounce to um, two files. One is a PCM wave, the other is an MP3. And we'll, we'll just skip the uh, ID3 tags. And let's go ahead and bounce this file. Now you can see we have the two files in our, in our file system. And let's go ahead and uh, open up the wave. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to need an AIF file also. So let's go ahead, save this file as an AIF. And there it is. When you look at the file system now, we have an AIF file also. So now we're working with the AIF file. Um, and the first tab here you see is identification. So let's go ahead and identify it. The, um, the first field title is the most important. Um, an interesting thing is Finder actually take, looks at the ID3 tags. So, for example, if you quick look the file, there's nothing there. But let's go ahead and save it. And then do another quick look. Oops. Now you can see the title is now there. So let's move over to the next tab, Involved Persons. This is where we add the lead artist. Uh, that's the most important field. Frame. These are called frames. And let's go ahead and add the lyricist, the composer, which is a collaboration. And then there's this involved persons list, which in version 3, uh, known as 2.3, was really just about everybody. But in version 4, 2.4, we have a musician's list, musician's credit list. So let's go ahead and switch to version 4 and add the... Uh, the credits. To delete any of these, just blank it out. Okay, let's go ahead and save this now and do a quick look over in the file system again. Now you'll see. If you look close, the artist. So next let's go to the derived and subjective properties frame. We might notice the bits, beats per minute is uh, filled in for you, and so is the length computed uh, by the number of samples you know, versus the sample rate. If you don't know the key in the year, you have to fill those out yourself, as well as the languages. And the... Um, genre list, which is quite large. Um, in version 4, you can change the, uh, the actual text yourself. That makes other very uh, useful. Um, in fact, other is the, the, uh, my favorite genre. In version 4, we also have a mood, but in version 3, it's not there. 
or and two either. So, well, let's go back to version four and, and fill in the mood, which is definitely subjective. Next, let's look at the comments frames. Um, you have, you can see one of them just got added automatically. You can delete that anytime you want. Um, you can add uh, any number of comments you want. It's the only uh, restriction is that it does have to have a unique identifier of which a actual blank can, counts, but only one blank. Um, it can be any language, again, you can just, oh, pick a language. Of course, I don't know how to do it in that language, so, ah, uh, well, let's just delete it. Yeah, that means it'll get deleted next time it's saved. And there you go. Okay, now on to the Pictures tab, which allows you to input, again, any, as many pictures as you want. And, uh, um, I have a couple here to demonstrate. My lovely thumbs up happy picture, which we'll um, label happy and just call it uh, the, the cover and there's any number of choices um, let's save it and something interesting happens as I said finder looks at the uh, ID3 tag for all sorts of information and one of them is the icon and there you have it the title the uh, artist and a picture like I said, you can have any number of uh, pictures. They just have to have unique identifiers. And um, but there's a only there's a couple other restrictions. But so let's again just save it. Maybe. One thing that does make the file, of course, a little bit bigger. Um, and something interesting happens when you change the order with Finder. Finder seems to take the first one so you can change the icon. And of course you don't think you'd want that particular icon, right? So let's go back to this guy. Save it. Yeah. Ah, that's much nicer. There you go. Oops, quick look. Ah, uh, there we go. The next tab up is the lyrics. Again, um, you can have any number of lyrics, and you know, uh, presumably in different languages, because otherwise, why would we have more than one set of lyrics? So here, let's just, again just uh, paste in. The actual lyrics of the song, and now you don't have to have them somewhere else. You don't have to have a separate file. You can actually just keep the lyrics in the file. You can also have different languages. Tagman has support for um, multi-byte languages such as Chinese. So let's go now. I don't really know how to write it myself, so I'm going to ask Google to go ahead and translate. Oops. Hmm. Let's copy this. Hmm. Okay. 
There we go. Right, let's paste that in. And now this, this will get saved um, in either UTF-8, which it says uh, down there in the text encoding. Um, the other possibility would be Unicode. UTF-8 is a little, a little more concise. Oh, oops. We need a unique identifier. There we go. So let's go ahead and save this file now. Yeah. It's got the lyrics in there. Next tab is the rights frames, and you can see here this is version 4. Version 3 didn't have a produced frame. Version 4 does, and so we'll just write this stuff in. So if the file's licensed, there, those are the terms of use. And if it's sold, it's the ownership. Let's go ahead and save. Our final tab uh, are the links. These are just URLs pointing to informational uh, websites. So the official artist performer web page. We can find there can be multiple, obviously, since there's multiple artists and performers, so you can put in uh, as many as you want. fill in as many of these as, as needed. There's a special user to find that we're using here to say where the new file is on SoundCloud. We've created the tag for our AIF file. Now we'll want to uh, copy the tag over to our mp3 file. There it is. Open it. See there's no no tag currently. So let's copy the tag from the AIF and there you are. All our uh, frames are there except the length and actually the BPM. Some of these things aren't copied because I can't really be sure, but if we save the file, it'll compute the length 